look at the size of that fish. Here's to you, old man. Smiling down on me. Oh. So what's going on, everybody? It's it's been a couple weeks since I posted a video. The first part of this month, my my dad up and died on us. He'd been sick for a while and we knew it was coming. I I told myself that I'd worked through everything, you know, I was ready for it, but it sucked anyways. It sucked anyways. I, I even had myself believing it. But I've tried to go hunting a few times since then, tried to make some videos, but I just don't have the patience for it. I can't seem to find it in me to just sit out there or, or walk around looking for critters. I decided, decided I was gonna come fishing today caught me one great big old shad I'll show you here in a minute spent all morning trying to catch that stinking thing I just come to the back of the spillway uh, they got the gates open so it'd probably be better to fish on the riverside but the crappie are starting to move up and there's people over there I'm just not in the mood to be around a whole bunch of people so I come to the back side of the spillway I think I'm gonna cut that shad up pitch it under that brush see if I can pull a catfish out from under there look at the size of this shad A big old sucker. Just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cube him down into about, oh, I don't know, inch, inch and a half cubes. Fish with small pieces. That water's still cold. We're not gonna fish with anything big. So we'll get him cut up and then we'll get these rods baited up. Get him over there under that driftwood and see what, what's laying underneath. That water is deep and swift too. They got the gates open. Should be fishing on the other side. There's a lot of people over there and I just don't feel like messing with it. Usually when the gates are open, you do better fishing on the river. And when they're closed, you might do better fishing on the lake. The crappie are starting to move up and there's a bunch of old men over there catching them. I'd just rather sit over here by myself, even if I don't catch a fish. But it took it 10 seconds to hit the bottom. I don't know how deep that water is. Man. It's still sinking. Right there. I don't know. Somebody that knows more about it can tell me how deep that water is. It's deep. Oh, now I'm just going to sit here and, I don't know, kill the day listening to the water run. Maybe we'll catch a fish. We'll get the bite here. Didn't take too long. Give him another minute. Oh man, I had one take my rod down and the other camera quit me. I'm gonna lose the fist trying to get it on video. It feels like a nice one too. It is a big fish. Oh, it's gonna get tangled up by the line. Oh no! That is a big old blue pit.
look at the size of that fish. Here's to you, old man. Smiling down on me. Isn't he? I don't know what to say. I'm gonna turn the camera off in just a minute. Well, I thought about it a little bit. Laughed some, cried a little. But if you think some sentimental moment's gonna cause me to turn this fish loose, you'd be wrong. That's not how we roll, that's not how he roll. We catch fish to eat. That's just the way it goes. And this fish right here will feed my whole family twice, even if I don't catch another one. So turning it loose is not gonna happen. I'm just tickled pink that the day turned out this way. I don't even know what to say. I might just turn around and go home after this. But I think I want to catch another fish. So I'm going to put him in the water, get my lines rebated. I bet I, bet I haven't been here. I bet I haven't had them baits in the water 15 minutes. Gonna use the same piece of bait, pitch it right back out there. Boy, that water's deep. I'm just gonna sit around and wait some more. That made my day, y'all know that? Made my day. I think I forgot to say what I was using as far as tackle goes. I was using, I'm using two aught mustad hooks. And I just tie a leader in my line about a foot above a five ounce sinker. Just pitch it out there and let it sink to the bottom. I got videos on the channel showing you how I tie these knots and, and such, so gonna get it out there trying to keep fresh bait on I called my father-in-law because the fish were biting he done tied into one so that's what I want right there about them three four pound blues and eating size ones It's been about an hour since I caught that first one. He's only been down here about 15 minutes. There he is, he passed him off. We gonna stick him on the stringer with the other one. Rainy. Yeah, they, they, they're healthy. Need help? That's two. Well, it's been about an hour since I've caught anything. Or even got a bite. So, I'm gonna reel in. And upsize my hook to a seven on. And I'm gonna put that head on there and fish that for about an hour. And then I'm gonna call it and go home. So let me get this hook changed out and then uh, we'll put that head on there and send it. Here it is. I'll be honest with you, I think this is too much bait for February, but shoot, I didn't think I'd catch a fish down here anyway, so we're gonna try it out. Maybe there's a big old fish down there that's hungry. Nothing else that'll put a lot of sand off in the water.
give that about another hour and then I'm gonna go home and clean the two we got. Well, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna shoot straight about 15 minutes after I put that head out. Something jerked that rod down hard. I thought it was gonna make a liar out of me, but it turned loose. We actually did better today than what I thought I was gonna do. We got a couple fish and one of them's pretty good size. We're gonna have a good fish fry this weekend. I don't know, we're gonna get everything packed up get on out of here get these fish cleaned i appreciate y'all watching i got some I got some upgrades that william tell sent me for the mini striker that'll probably be the next video might do a little bit more fishing it's getting about that time of year where where uh we'll spend most of our time fishing i don't know thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time